Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Well, I got a bunch of questions on feeding her, what I feed her, how much I feed her, and um, how I do it. And I figured I'd just show you what we were doing when she was a puppy. Now, I'll show you how much I feed her. I don't actually weigh it anymore, but when she was very little, so this dog was, you know, a couple pounds. What I would do is I bought this scale and I would measure out, I'd put the thing on it and then hit uh, this and it'll clear it out. And I think we were feeding her as low as 100 grams based on her weight. So that's 72 grams. And I would just keep piling it on. I was mixing in dry food with this later on. So there's 100, basically, 101. And uh, what this is, is Albright raw puppy formula. And once she got to be about four months old, she's now six months old, we stopped weighing it. But based on what that looks like, we're still giving her about 100 grams, probably a little more. So that right there at six months old is what I've been feeding her twice a day. Uh, uh, yeah, twice a day. Up until three months, so this is 118 grams. She's 22 pounds, 118 grams, twice a day, raw food. And they gobble down the raw food. Let me show you. You ready? You ready? Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna watch you. So this is actually pretty slow. Um, we don't get her any kind of thing to cause her to slow down. We don't care. It's raw food. They're designed to gobble it down. Now this series of <laughs> all this nonsense, it's not really nonsense for us because we have multiple dogs uh, that aren't ours. My son has a, um, we actually, this might be a problem once we remove the gate because she does like to take the food somewhere else occasionally, like you just saw. But anyway, my son has a German short hair pointer that was here this morning and eats that. Lacey, the Lagoto, eats that. And then of course, everybody drinks the water. And we had this uh, lid process because we don't like her eating the adult food and we don't like the adult dogs eating the blend that I make. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'll put the link right up above. Uh, but she gobbles down the raw food. She gets this twice a day, about five in the morning, 5.15 in the morning, and then again at about 6.30, seven o'clock at night. And then uh, she grazes on this all day long. We keep this in her uh, crate, I'll show you, and we keep it in my office. So she has food available to her 24 seven. And we started that around two and a half to three months old because she would just continuously eat if we didn't. So let me show you how we did that. Oh, and by the way, she's already done. So that was about no more than two minutes. And she may act like she wants more, but she's not getting more. That's it. That's all she gets. She's a really healthy weight. And then she'll graze on the kibble throughout the day. This is what this looks like. It's a combination. You can read the ingredients uh, if you're interested in this food. We really only chose it because that's what the breeder was feeding her. Uh, so far, so good. It's got eggshell in it. It's got kale. It's got all kinds of uh, beef parts. Um, 
The only thing that's a little bit of a pain about it is you've got to defrost it. What we were doing is cutting this in half, keeping one half frozen, and then defrosting the other half. Now that she's older, we've been just defrosting the entire thing. This is almost, this is after about two feedings. This lasts almost a week. These are 10 bucks each. This is her crate set up. She has water and food and a puppy pad. So the reason why we have puppy pads is because she pees every time uh, somebody comes over. She gets so excited that we can let her out of the crate, sit right here, pet her, and let her pee on the puppy pad, which here's more puppy pads. Makes for a great little tray, uh, this particular crate. I, you know, it came from my sister-in-law actually, but she just got it off Amazon. And we can keep her leashes, the puppy pads, uh, poop bags right here somewhere, poop bags. And then this section opens up, which is super nice, so that we can uh, get to the food. So the point in me telling you this, uh, I'll show you one more area here in the office. Again, food and water. So by having food available to her all the time, and we don't leave this much uh, when she was much younger, we would just put, you know, a cup in there. I work from home uh, at least one day a week. So she usually is kind of trapped in this area. We use uh, this gate right here to block her in this area. And by having food available, the threat of, or the need to eat because somebody's gonna steal your food, the threat of somebody stealing your food is completely gone. I know the jury's out and there's some pretty polarizing opinions of self-regulating food eaters and feeding times, but we are on our fourth dog. Hey, stop that, quit chewing on that. We are on our fourth dog and all of them have self-regulated. This is the first one that we've continued to have a feeding time on uh, with the raw food in the morning and at night. So as I mentioned, when she was a puppy, we would feed her three times a day, raw only. Then we introduced kibble. Okay, had to pick up the boxes. Then we introduced kibble and we would mix the kibble in with the raw food. And then, like I mentioned, at about two and a half, three months, we started putting down food 24 seven and it's worked out great. So that is what we've been feeding her right now. As I mentioned, she's 22 pounds. She's almost exactly six months old. I did a video on the treats that we give her. So we like to mix the treats and we like to mix the kibble. Trying to get that one right there. She likes this one. She actually likes all of them. But uh, I'm gonna do a video on this Phi collar. So if you like this content, uh, please subscribe. I've got lots of playlists, but uh, you could just subscribe to the Legoto one if you're interested, or you could subscribe to the whole channel if you're interested. And yes, they get their face all wet when they drink because she sticks her head freaking all the way in the bowl. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.